Oh, hello there. Alan here with another video and today I'm going to show you uh, a very simple solar tracker. I think this is probably the easiest method that can possibly be and I'll just show you how it's uh, made in just a few seconds. Um, before I start though I'd like to just say a big thank you to all my viewers. We've just over 2 million channel views now and my 3,000 nearly subscribers. Uh, really appreciate the support and the comments uh, so thank you very much now I made a couple of videos uh, a couple of years ago about uh, solar trackers and I've had uh, a lot of comments about asking how they're made and uh, what what the sort of theory is behind them so this is uh, this is a very basic simplest sort of solar tracker completely self-contained uh, it's got just a motor and a gearbox and two solar cells and I'll show you how that goes so you'll see that will track round to the sun and if we look at the shadow here that will stop right bang in the middle there and it will still seek the sun if we go the other way makes no difference at all now as the sun moves around of course it will follow the sun uh, very accurately to within, within a, a couple of degrees uh, and it's very sensitive and very cheap so uh, I'll show you how it all works okay so what we're going to need for this uh, little experiment is a, a DC motor um, this one's 60 revs 12 volts uh, another one here uh, that's 12 volts doesn't say the revs but it's a, a geared down DC motor with a gearbox now when you uh, put a DC motor on a, a battery whichever way you put the, the positive or negative it'll turn in a direction so here we are uh, there we are we're turning clockwise at the moment change the polarity and it turns the other way okay so for this we need two similar solar panels small ones uh, this these are 12 volt trickle charge of a car batteries uh, these came from Maplins for about uh, 10 or 11 pounds each on the other one I showed earlier they are much smaller panels they came from Banggood and I'll give you a, a link to the description there they only cost about five pounds each so we need two panels and a DC motor uh, that can be driven by the by the uh, panels so connect that you'll see this is going around clockwise if we connect the other one to it using a different polarity so here we are and it comes to a stop because they cancel each other out okay so they're both providing power but no both both canceling each other out so if I move one of those panels into the shade it'll go if I move the other one into the shade it'll go the other way okay so now if we arrange our panels, they're no pointing directly at the sun, so the no neither side is getting the sun. If I move it this way a little bit, this panel gets the sun and the motor turns that way. Turns that way. So now if we arrange them like this and mount them on a turntable of some sort and use this to drive some sort of mechanism to drive it round, it'll drive. So when you come round to this way it'll drive that way it'll drive a rotating wheel round until it points to the sun and when it's at the null point so neither of them are getting more than the other uh, it'll cancel itself out and come to a stop come this way a bit and it'll rotate that way now if we once we've sorted that out all we've got to do is make this make this uh, do some useful work uh, and drive a wheel or a, 
uh, a gear in this situation. I'll just show you that. So this is the one we showed earlier. The, the sun is coming on this panel. It is driving the gear around slowly. You know, this is a three and a half revs a minute gearbox, so it's very slow, but uh, got a lot of torque. So that drives that round, and it'll keep driving round until it gets to the point where these are both pointing at the sun. I've just 3D printed a gear there. That meshes in there, and it'll drive round until the sun comes equally on both panels and stops. Now you can use that principle on different things. So here's one a bit, a bit heavier duty. I haven't got the solar panels on this one. Uh, I could use these, but the smaller ones will work better on it. Two small solar panels there. We've got a drive motor there and skateboard wheels here. And that swivels on a, a rod. And that drives itself round until it uh, aligns up with the sun. I won't put the panels on there. Through that way, and if I got the other panel around, it would just come to the null point and come to a stop. Um, we can do a heavier duty one too. This was a bigger one, uh, same thing, same sort of motor. very slow gearing uh, and it creeps around and that will drive round and this was on quite a big uh, two or three foot base uh, rotating round on a, a concrete plinth and drove a, a, a panel about a three foot by two foot solar panel to line it up um, very slow gearing it doesn't need to be fast at all and that's how they work um, and it's very very simple so you cannot get a simpler cost nothing there's no Arduino programming power supply uh, it's reliable it's cheap the motors motors around about five or six pounds the panels four or five pounds each and this you can make up as you go along it can be a skateboard wheel can be a gear um, anything you like so that's about it i hope you found that useful or helpful um and get back to me with any questions by all means um and thanks for watching uh if you enjoyed the video give us a thumbs up always appreciated um and check out my other videos uh, thanks for i'll see you again at a later date bye bye